Who is Isaac Newton? He was an English mathematician, physic and astronomer, born on 4th January 1643, in a little town of Lincolnshire. He has always been fascinated by science, and this led to a brilliant career as some of the most important scientific discovery of all time. He is famous for his extensive work on gravity, mechanics, optics, thermodynamics and calculus. Maybe some of you may know the three laws of motion that he published. So now let's describe them and see how fundamental they are in our everyday life. The first one states that in an inertial frame of reference, an object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity, unless acted upon by a force. So we can say that an object, if not subjected to a force, maintains its starting behavior of motion. This law can be seen, for example, playing hockey on ice. If the disc is moving and no other forces are applied to it, it will continue moving in the same direction. The second law states that in an inertial frame of reference the resulting force F of an object is equal to the mass M of that object multiplied by the acceleration A of the object. So we can write this famous formula. This can be also written like this meaning that the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the force applied. This change in momentum takes place in the direction of the applied force. But this law can be also stated in terms of a body acceleration, so the force is also directly proportional to the mass and acceleration of the object. For example, when a racket hit a tennis ball, the ball is an acceleration thanks to the force that the racket applies to it. Now consider a ball with a greater mass and the same force applied by the racket. In this case, the acceleration will be lower. It states that when one body exerts a force on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction on the first body. One of the coolest applications of this law is the rocket engine. The two objects are the engine itself and the gases created by the combustion. Not the air as many people think. So the hot gases are accelerated in one direction and the rocket will obtain a force in the opposite one. The fact that the rocket uses gases creating the combustion and not the air allows it to work properly also in the vacuum of space. We hope that now you will see the world with different eyes. I hope you liked the video. If you have any suggestion about new content, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, subscribe. See you in the next video.